Welcome back to episode two of the journey on Football Manager 22. Right, a um, few things off the bat first before we get started. Uh, hit that like button if you enjoy the video. And also hit the subscribe button as well. Uh, we really do want to try and push to try and get 100 subscribers before we hit Europe. Or by the time we hit Europe, uh, that would be ideal. Um, so yeah, let's just get cracking with the game. And I'll show you the progress so far. Right, so since she was last with me, that's the wrong one, that one. Since she was last here, it's been a bit of a up and down. Results wise, we drew against Geisley. Um Did he score his first goal? No, he didn't. Uh, Boston United, we managed to beat Boston United. Uh, and we got beat off Darlington, which I expected anyway. And then we beat Leamington uh, 3 0 away, which is good. So we kind of got straight back into it. And then we got beat off Gloucester. So it's like I said, it's been a bit up and down, up and down. But I want to show you this goal that Luke Daly scored against Boston. It is absolutely amazing. Let me just load it up and I'll show you. Right, I mean, watch this here. Where is it? Stanley plays it to Daly. Daly just hits it. Boom. Look at that. What a goal that was. That could quite be goal. Goal of the month. Should be because it was a really, really good, nicely taken goal. Right. So we've been drawn against Head, Headners for Hesenford in the second qualifying round of the uh, FA Cup. So hopefully we should prevail on that one. Uh, so... I don't think there's been any news on the transfer front. Uh, yeah, camera stand. It's the same one. Yeah, no, no new new members of the squad. Um, mainly because I can't really afford it. Uh, it that's all sorted itself out now as well. So we can finally see money hemorrhaging. But you know, get a bit of a run going in cup. We should be okay. Right. So I'll get to the team selection and. Um, We'll go from there. Okay, so the team against Hesenford is Renshaw in goal with a back four of Wilson, Flowers, Deitch and Challoner. And then we've got Lucy, Lussie and Kane in midfield and a front four of Marne, McKay, Thomas and Knowles. Um, Cameron Stanley's picked up a little bit of an injury so he's not going to be appearing in this one. But, you know... It's fine. He's He did score in a previous game, but it was disallowed. Uh, so he's getting a bit of a slow start. But once he's, once he's back up to full fitness and we can actually get you know the best out of him, then he should start banging the goals in for fun. So without further ado, let's get cracking in the FA Cup. Right, okay, so we kick off. Flowers now Wilson to Marne. Marne to Lussie. Now it's Wilson to Flowers. Flowers back to Wilson, who... Passes it to Marn. Marn tries to find Knowles in space. He does do Knowles. Hits it. But hey, they've got a Stanley in nets. Seems to be a popular name, that Stanley. But, you know, our Stanley's better. Wilson fans Marn. Marn fans Knowles in space. He's clear through. He tries his luck. Doesn't quite get to it though, but he goes out of play for a corner. Which is good because a minute gone and we're already having a corner. Flowers, oh, straight into the goalkeeper's hand. That was a good effort, but not really the what we were looking for. We've got another corner, Lussy to take. Plays it long to Flowers. The Flowers heads it home. Harry Flowers with his second of the season, and it's Curzon 1, Hed Hesenford 0. God, that is such a hard name to say. Such a hard name. And look at this. He jumps, rises above the rest. Nods it in, far post. What a goal. Fantastic. Right, Lussy to take a free kick to Marn. Marm back upfield to Wilson. See, well, the team is starting to play really, really well. Uh, we've got a bit of cohesion going on, and which is what I said one uh, I wanted to happen in the previous episode. Uh, still, not many games played yet, but it's starting to show promise. Uh, we do we are doing some pretty good, you know, runs of play, which is promising. Um, but things can only look up from here. Oh, Knowles free on goal. Tries his luck. Oh, it's the bar. 
unlucky nosey unlucky that was uh, a good effort but now we've got to defend this corner so and we do defend it but not very well come on don't let him score that's good 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 that would be a goal kick yeah um like i said if we can get through to fa cup proper out of the uh, qualifying rounds uh get a couple of matches that are reasonably winnable if we can get through to the third round then i will be super delighted um because that bit of extra money that will be coming in from the potential runs will help tide us over until you know for the rest of the season unless we've got a oh adam thomas with his second of the season lucy with an assist it is now curzon to hesenford nil fantastic see i didn't i wasn't even paying attention to that goal again it's from another set player corner i'm dangerous from corners Really dangerous. I'm not complaining. Goal's goal, end it there. Uh, I forgot what I was saying as well. I literally forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, well if we can get a bit of a cup run going, then unless we like, oh yeah, that was it. Um, Unless we've got a really, really rich investor in the club, then we are going to have to rely on cup runs and selling our star youngsters. Uh, if we've got a decent youth team set up, which I've not had really looked at yet, to be honest. Oh, Knowles nearly heads it past then. But it's fine. Still 2-0. I'm happy with this so far. Okay, now to Deitch. Deitch, Flowers, now Lussie. Lussie to Marn. Back to Lussie. Flowers now on the ball. And it's back to Lussie again. And it's back to Marn. It's just, it seems to be them three players. Oh, Knowles is clean through. And he's onside. And he shoots, but he does nothing with his shot. But we win a corner. Again, a corner. We are dangerous with these. Lussie Knowles nearly nearly gets to it and he just proves me wrong by failing to capitalise on the set play. It's fine. Oh, Chalinor, that was dirty. Did he get a yellow card for that? No, he didn't. Wow, you got lucky. Really lucky. Chalinor now on the ball. Still Chalinor. Whips it across. A little bit too far, but Mar managed to get to it. Now it's Wilson. Wilson to Lussie. Back to Wilson. Come on, Wilson. There you go. Thomas heads it. Oh, Thomas heads home for his third goal of the season. Wilson with an assist. And puts Curzon 3-0 up. That is fantastic. 30 minutes played. And we are now have a commanding lead. And now that is imp it's, 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 this is how we're supposed to play. I mean, yeah, they're not the greatest of teams they are probably a couple of leagues below us i think um but still show dominance show power show skill and any game is winnable oh what a goal by man his second goal of the season wilson with an assist that was a really really nice goal really nice indeed look at this wilson throws it straight to man he controls it gets past his man takes a couple of touches Hits it straight into the bottom corner. Fantastic. Now this, I think we can sit back and relax now because it's highly unlikely, but possible, for us to get beat. Because I, I do remember, you know, being a football fan myself, I do remember many, many years ago when my beloved Burnley, we scored five goals and still got beat. Which, you know... You're left scratching your head thinking, how? Oh, Thomas nearly nearly makes it five. But you, you stood there scratching your head thinking, how have we lost when we've scored five goals? Uh, and that was against Grimsby. Uh, we lost, yeah, it was 6-5. We've had a seven, we've scored seven, we've scored seven, we've scored four and still got beat. That was a 7-4 defeat. So it's doable. <laughs> but I can't see it happening in today. Flowers hoofs it upfield to Knowles, but doesn't quite get his header where he wants it to be. And he absolutely smashed that then. Hesenford have managed to grab a consolation. He absolutely, if he would have hit that any harder, then that would have probably gone through the back of the net. Literally. I mean, look at this. He just went, have it. Straight into the back of the net. I'll give it, I'll, I'll, I'll allow that one. I will allow it. But now Lussie to McKay. McKay over the top to Marn. Marn to Wilson. Back to Marn. 
Lucy now on Lucy now on the ball. Flowers. And it's Daichi boy. Daichi passes back to Renshaw. Flowers now to Daichi again. Who finds Knowles. Kane now on the ball. Who tries his look from distance. What a goal. Michael Kane. Second of the season. Knowles with an assist. And makes it 5-1. And it's still not even half time yet. My team, my players are just hitting the ball and hoping for the best. I mean, look at this. Again, from outside the area. How many is that now in, in this game that's been from outside the area? We've had the corners. So that's two. So that's three from outside the area. Thomas is on for his hat trick. And we've got another corner. Could this be six? No, it's not. No, no. So, Chaloner to Marn. McKay now back to Lussie. McKay. Flowers, back to Lucy and Amman. See, then this is some good. This is what I'm, what I've been trying to say. We do string some good sequences together, but then obviously, as I'm saying that again, my team just sloppily give away possession, and now they didn't come to anything anyway. So I'm happy with that. That's right, so all. End of that highlight. Fantastic. Oh yeah. All right, so it's half time now. <clears throat> I mean, look at that. They scored in the 43rd minute and we just, a minute later, increased our advantage. We are dominating them. Absolutely domination. <clears throat> we've had a lot of shots on target. We have. I'm pleased we've created loads and the scoreboard reflects that. Yeah. I like the, the new team talk thing is that they've put on this. Because it's like wording it differently to what it used to be, so it's more has more realism factor to it, which I like. It's nice. It is. It's a nice touch. Oh, they've made a triple substitution. Ooh, at half time, you're trying to uh, trying to claw your way back into the game. I am really sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but that, my friends, is not going to happen. Right, so. Throwing, Wilson to take, throws to Marn, Marn back to Wilson, Wilson over the top to Thomas who hits it first time, oh, hits the defender, but it's still in the area and the keeper manages to grab hold of the save, which is good, good for them, not for us, Thomas with the corner, another corner, no one there to get it though, but can Michael Kane to Thomas, Thomas didn't quite do anything with it, but Flowers now back to Kane, now it's Thomas again who hits it just wide of the post, Unlucky. See now we are showing some really dumb real stages of domination on this one. Which is oh that's a good good interception there by Thomas. I wanna try and tie it. I think it's Thomas is the one that's on a a rolling contract. I wanna try and tie him down to a, a full time contract or a part time contract. Knowles to Thomas. Thomas shoots and it's goal number four and it's goal number three for this particular game and it's now Curzon six. Hesenford won. That is a well-deserved hat-trick. Well-deserved. See, look at that. Knowles slot, slots Thomas in and he just hits it. Keeper just stood there. He was beaten very easily. That's really, really good. Oh, tight offside. That's nowhere near offside. Don't talk nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Right, I'm going to make a... Substitution, eh? I think. Right. So, who can I take off? I think it is him. No, I've actually got him as a permanent thing. That's good. Uh, do, 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 do. I think I'm going to bring Posher on. No, I won't. Uh, see, I've got another one. Jack Deitch. I'll bring Jack Deitch on. Deitch. And... I think, that, I mean, Luke Merrill, is he any good? Breakthrough prospect. Yeah, I'll bring Lussie off. Uh, I'll, I'll do them two subs, that's fine with me. <laughs> Knowles with a free kick. Oh, just over the bar. That's good effort, but your accuracy is not really the, the greatest of, you know, attributes that you actually have. But it's fine, Flowers now to uh, Max Deitch. Challoner, he's making a bit of a run here, oh, over the top, can Knowles get to it, he does do, Knowles shoots from distance and it's 
quite wide of the target. He could have done better than that, Nolsey boy. But, you know, what can you do? Defend this corner, which we do do. Now it's the other Deitch. And he gives it away. See, that Jack Deitch, uh, Max Deitch even. If he becomes, you know, a key signing for us, that's really bad goalkeeper. That is really, really bad defending. That was bad defending. I mean, McKay's clearance was shocking anyway. Chambers was free. I mean, he was onside. Renshaw just flapped like an inflatable arm waving guy type thing. Just like, Ooh. and that was a weird sound effect. But, you know. He could have done better, could have composed himself better. Um, but sloppy defending and sloppy goalkeeping. Or oh, Kane now on the ball shoots it and it's saved and it is now corner. S still 6-2. I mean, this is a pretty good Deitch to take it. And it's a really, really poor corner, but Kane can scoop it up. Finds Deitch again. And he tries to find Kane, but the only person he found was the opposition player. Chaloner with a throw in, finds McKay. McKay to Kane. That was a bit of a tongue twister. McKay to Kane. Alright, so... I would like another goal, I think. That would be really, really... You know, massive for the confidence boost. <laughs> Flowers to Wilson. Wilson to Deitch. Merrill. Who finds Wilson out wide. Deitch now on the ball. Finds Merrill. Merrill to McKay. McKay to Kane. Kane shoots. Oh, it's just wide of the post. Unlucky Kane. Unlucky. But I'm sure you will, you know, make up for that miss. We'll have to wait and see. Right. So we are playing pretty good. I mean, we're actually dominating this game, to be honest. So playing pretty good is an, is an understatement uh, because we are showing this team just how dominant and powerful we are because uh, we have got off to a good start oh okay now on the ball he shoots oh off the bar or oh, was it a save i don't know it was too quick for me to see it Deitch, because that put out a touch for a throw and he's offside anyway and it's fine i make that change final change we've had 32 shots Deitch now to daily back to Deitch to challenger the referee's going to blow any second now but we ain't going to get seven. Unless we get managed to sneak. Nope. We ain't sneaking a seventh goal in. Right. That was a really good result. I'm impressed with that. You know, 6 2. We're through to the third qualifying round. Uh, we'll find out who we're playing in a moment. Right. So now it's the third qualifying round draw. So let's view the draw. And there's 98 teams. So to make it quicker. I'm just going to draw all teams and then we we'll can find out together who we are playing. So let's draw. So we are away against Royston. I've never heard of Royston. Royston Town. Stadium is Garden Walk, 4,000 capacity. Season ticket price, £73 for a season ticket old. Season ticket. Not too bad. Let's have a look at the squad. Harry Draper. He's on loan from Stevenage. Uh, no interest to me. Uh, none, none at all. So let's go back. And we shall get ready to play our first team in the first series of the journey. Bradford Park Avenue. Right, so team selection against Bradford Park Avenue. And it's a it's the exact same team as it was in the FA Cup match prior to this one. Um, because why change a winning formula? So just to remind you, we've got Renshaw in goal with a back four of Wilson, Flowers, Max Deitch and Chaloner. Chaloner. And Lusse and Kane in midfield. And a front four of Marn, McKay, Thomas and Knowles. Um, Stanley is still injured so he should be back in a couple of days so I'm not going to risk him just yet so hopefully he'll be 
fighting strong and then banging those goals in for us that we need him to do, really. Right, so let's get cracking with the game and hopefully beat our first team. Right, so when I say beat our, our first team, I mean beat our first team as in the first team we ever managed in our journey series from last season. So I came now on the ball, just to clarify any confusion, because I thought, after I'd said it, I thought, hang on a minute, that doesn't sound right. Uh, we win a corner, after 25 seconds, not too bad. Thomas to take, whips it in. No one there to get hold of it though, which is unfortunate. Oh, it's Lussie there with a beautifully timed challenge. Beautiful indeed. I mean, we're in, oh, excuse me, we're in ninth. So, we're still sitting reasonably well. I mean, we've got options here. Marn is clear on space, tries his luck, and it's wide of the target. You could have played your teammate in then. You know, Nolsey would have ran and latched onto that. But, you know, you didn't do it, did you? No, you didn't. Lussie now to Flowers. Knowles on the ball. Oh, Knowles is through. One on one. Knowles shoots, but shoots straight into the keeper. But wins a corner. So not too bad. It's not all lost. Thomas to take. Sends Flowers. Oh, Flowers heads it, but the keeper gets his hand to it. Wilson now back to Thomas. Thomas whips it in across to McKay, who heads it straight over the bar. Way over. Any higher than it would have left the stadium. Hey, we've moved up to hey, we've moved up a place. Woohoo! So, I mean, we, we are keeping control of the pack, which, you know, it's not too bad. Oh, good save by Renshaw, but gives away a corner. Not something we was uh, looking at achieving then, but I'll take it. I'll take a corner over a conceding a goal any day. And then they another throw in for them. See, they're actually starting to, I mean, they've got an injury. Good. <laughs> Make it a bit easier for us. Wilson heads clear. See, there's only one player in the uh, Bradford Park Avenue squad that I had when I was manager of them, and that's Lund. I can't see any other one. Same uh, Ross. Well, we didn't have Ross, I don't think. Luke Rawson. No, we didn't have him. We had, we had Ollie Johnson, but we never really played him because he was just not really what we wanted. What can you do? Wilson now to McKay. McKay to Marne. Marne to is now McKay. Oh, McKay, what was that? What was that? Absolutely shocking. Thomas with a corner. Sends it wide. Deitch tries to get up to it, but he doesn't. Back to Thomas. Thomas now to Deitch. Flower. Shalinor. Shalinor to Thomas. Thomas runs out wide. He sends across into McNoles. And he looked like he were offside. He looked like he were offside, but I don't think he were. Because referee Landsman didn't raise his flag. Oh, Kane there intercepts. So it's Thomas now on the ball. Finds Chaloner. Chaloner to Max Deitch. Lussie now to Chaloner again. Ah, oh, back to Max Deitch. Back to Challoner. Now it's Thomas. See, Challoner now on the ball. See, I don't think there's anywhere in this squad that we need to improve anymore because looking at the uh, squad depth page, we have got a pretty strong squad. Lussy now on the ball. And he heads it to Kane. Heads it to Kane. Passes it to Kane who heads it straight into the goalkeeper's arms. But yeah, we have... Uh, it is a really strong team. So, I unless we get... A, a, a season ending injury to one of his players and I can't see us needing to replace him, anyone or even delve into the loan market but it is possible to have a look see if I can get someone on loan for um, really really cheap or free get them on loan for free that would be a bonus right so the second half is underway hopefully we can get our noses in front and get one over our former team. So, Flowers, oh, there goes a highlight. Oh, we win a corner. Thomas to take. He sends it across. Don't, don't quite meet Flowers, but gets to Kane. Kane to Thomas. Thomas does a beautiful little turn. Max Deitch to Kane. Kane tries his luck, but it kicks it straight at the defender, and it goes out of play for a corner. Thomas to take this one. He's going to send it what long again. Couldn't quite find his teammate. See, I said we're pretty dangerous on set pieces, especially corners. And I'd say the past half dozen or so corners we've had, nothing has happened. I'm being made out to be a liar here. Kane, oh, gets to it perfectly. Lussie, oh, just 
over the bar, unlucky. I think I'm gonna have to do a bit of shout at my team, demand more Kane to Max Deitch. McKay, Thomas, back to Kane. Deitch now on the ball. Kane to Thomas. Oh, a beautiful turn again by Thomas. He likes to do them little, uh, them little jinking turns. So, yeah, that's good. Wilson now on the ball. Hans Lusse, who sends it out wide to Marn. Marn's getting past his man here. Is he going to... Yes, he does do. Thomas to Knowles. Knowles shoots, but Keeper somehow gets his fingertips to it. And it goes out of play for a corner, which Thomas again will take. And again, nothing happens. So, if I said we're good at set pieces and corners, and then we're not, doing anything with it so i'm gonna do a bit of reverse psychology now we are absolutely terrible at corners we never score at all i'll be lucky if i ever, I ever score one corner in the whole entire game you know Shh, don't tell him don't tell him don't tell him it's like reverse psychology yeah we never score with corners right so we shall to throw kane now it's maxi deitch to Lussie. Lussie tries his look from distance, but straight at the defender. Now Bradford, oh, I was going to say Bradford are on a bit of a break, but it's a beautifully timed challenge. Another corner. We never score these. We never score. Really? Really? So Thomas whips it in. Flowers jumps up with his head, and McKay smashes home the rebound. I say we're always good at corners and we never score. Then as soon as I say we're bad at corners, we score. We're really bad at this game. We never win any single games at all or anything. Wilson now to take a throw in. Oh, that was a really, really weak throw in. Challoner. Oh, Challoner heads home his first goal of the season. McKay with an assist and it's Curzon 2 at Bradford Park Avenue. Nil. Fantastic. That is a, I mean... I've got a, uh, a bit of a fond affection for Bradford Park Avenue because they were my first team in in the last series of the journey. But, you know, I'm here to win games. I'm here to try and get promoted and move up the football ladder. I will take no prisoners. See, I mean, Gloucester are kind of starting to get a bit of a demanding lead at the top of the table. But I'm quite happy with, you know, how things are going. You know... We are slowly establishing ourselves. Uh, oh, I need to make, that's just reminded me, I need to make another substitution. But yeah, we are starting to really put his foot down and think, right, yeah, we are ready for this. I'll take Marn off. No, I'll bring Daly on, actually. Uh, I'll bring Marn off and I'll swap them two around. That's fine with me. Fantastic. See, I wonder if Daly can score another screamer like he did then last time because that was an absolutely amazing goal that he scored against um, Boston. Clee. Clee sounds... I'm, I'm pretty sure I had Clee as well, actually. So, two players that in the current Bradford Park Avenue team. So, that means they got rid of you know, all of the squad for the start of this new season. So, Thomas now on the ball. He finds Kane. Kane to Challoner. Back to Thomas. Back to Challoner. He finds Daly. Knowles now plays Thomas in, but Thomas doesn't have enough speed on him to get to the ball. Kane to Daly. What's he going to do? Whips it in. Jack Deitch heads straight into the keeper's arms. He held on to that. So, I mean, I've got 25 shots again. I do pick good formations. I do know how to pick them. Right, Kane now on the ball. Why change what works? These formations are oh, daily now on the ball. Is he going to shoot? He does do it straight over the bar. I picked winning formulas in the first series of Journey. And it's looking like I'm repeating the process now because I, I'm, I've near enough got the exact same formation. Um, but there is some little elements that I've changed uh, just to like make... My players suit the role better. Daly now on the ball finds Knowles. Knowles couldn't quite capitalise on the shot, on the cross even. Uh, we're up to sixth in the table, which is fantastic. Five added minutes. Ooh, that's a lot of minutes. Wilson now on the ball. 
and it's Jack Deitch. Jack Deitch sends it forward to Knowles. Can he get to it in time? No, he doesn't. And it's cleared, but only as far as Max Deitch, who finds Challoner. Now it's Kane to Daly. Now Thomas is in play. Because that runs out wide with it, finds Daly. Daly turns, shoots, and it's straight into the defender. So Thomas has another go. Now it's Daly again, who finds Thomas, who, well, nearly finds Thomas, but Max Deitch scoops it up and regains possession. Now it's Thomas. Thomas to Chaloner. Chaloner. I keep saying his name wrong. Chaloner whips it in. Jack Dyke's there to head it, but it's cleared. And Bradford Park Avenue have a chance to get a consolation goal. And it's offside. I didn't even notice it was offside. But it's fine. I'm not complaining. We get to uh, have a clean sheet. Jack Dyke's now on the ball. Finds Lussie to Posher. Back to Lussie. Now it's Wilson. And the referee blows his whistle. For full time, and it's Curzon 2, Bradford Park Avenue, nil. Sorry, Bradford, but no prisoners. Right, so as it stands after seven games, we are currently in sixth with 13 points, which isn't too bad if you ask me. Um, We've got the top two average rated players. I'm not complaining there. And the joint first player of the match awards. So, schedule time. Let's have a look who we will come back for. Um, I think we'll do a double header of home games there in November. Filed and York, I think. Yeah, Filed and York. We'll come back for them too. So, hopefully, we'll continue this little bit of a run we've got. And try and push that playoff place. Yeah, so I want to thank you all for watching. Um, remember, if you've not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to keep reminding you, we want to try and hit 100 subscribers before we get into Europe, or by the time we get into Europe. Uh, hitting it before will be absolutely fantastic, but I'm quite happy to, you know, wait until we're actually in Europe to hit the 100 subscriber mark. So if, if you've not already subscribed, just press it once. That's all you've got to do. And share this video. Um, so your friends and anyone who's interested in it can watch it and subscribe as well. Uh, so like I said, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode. See you later.